Okay, so this was supposed to be this supposed to have started like at least 43 minutes ago, and I realized very quickly that nothing was gonna work out the way it was supposed to. Um, but honestly, I've been meaning to try out this. Like, I've I've actually played the game. This is actually I think this is like DLC or maybe this is a sequel. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I just. The first game I played, and I was just kind of like, because the game technically puts the player in the seat of an actual quote unquote IT guy. It's not an IT guy, matter of fact, I think they have an actual title for him, like an operator or something, and he has to go through social media, connect the dots, and everything else. And I'm about to show it to you guys. I love this game like how Yahtzee loves paper please like I honestly believe this is this is not a shoot 'em up game this is not a game that like you know oh you just pick up for 15 minutes and put down this is an actual it's, it's like a book you it, it, that is difficult to put down in my opinion I really do love this game and and this particular one I actually didn't play like as you can see I actually have a profile designed already the profile one here and I'm gonna make another profile for this stream only because it, it makes sense for me to do it like that um, what actually took me forever in a week was actually trying to set everything up to like the sound the audio if you look in the lower right hand corner is our new logo and the logo of the game that took a little bit to find and, and if not find then create <laughs> um, but there was something I wanted to do real quick before I actually started the game and I think that is to capture the cursor and I have done so so um, the game doesn't have any voiceovers um, everything's text-based I'm gonna try not to read your freaking ears off at all um, <laughs> and I think uh, this obviously has the feel of indie game to it um, and I don't want to use the same icon and I wish I could just kind of like, like the pictures are better than what they were last time like last time it was like picking out of five now it was at least out of ten oh, man <laughs> what? Here we go. serious that seems to work out best for me and it's not like you see your character honestly like when you're playing this game you're looking at a computer screen and you as the player inside the game is also looking at the computer screen more or less the entire time um, you know what I already did this for my up I, f I forget if this is part of the game or not Oh, it's optional. Like, I, 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 f I forgot if I did that last time, and if I, if me doing it would actually, ah, <laughs> um, it's sending me emails and all that stuff, and I don't want to do it twice because I thought I'd probably have to subscribe because spam is the real thing. <laughs> I will, I am willing to severely affect the lives of citizens and non-citizens of the nation, which is the people, uh, like consider like this group of people that we are looking over. Kind of like the United United States. In this game, it's called the Nation. And you know, the United States, uh, Africa, uh, United United Kingdom. Uh, put any real world name into that. That's what the nation is supposed to represent. I will do whatever is necessary to keep the nation from harm. That's gonna be uh, something I do remember. Happens to be a, a clear choice. Even though I don't remember the exact choice. I remember going, "Oh man, I messed up." <laughs> While working, I will only I, I heed only to the s statues and principles of the office, which is kind of like just saying the government. Of course, I'm like in everything that we've ever done online or otherwise, we simply click I agree to move forward. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Welcome, Agent. Thank you for heeding the call of the office. See, I played the game previously, so the following investigators are unavailable for pairing. Please choose the corresponding profile of the person was to be paired with. I can choose? Oh, okay, it's from my previous... So I can play with... Oh, that's that's, that's kind of... I actually didn't... I must not have seen that the last time I played. 
assigned case. So that's me from the previous game. And in the previous game, there was a bombing. And I had to go through people's emails, social media, text messages, voicemail, the whole shebang to find terrorists. But, like, it kind of, like, I've always been the kind of guy that kind of went, all right, we'll do the ends justify the means. And sometimes to my realization like in in real life sometimes like you know i'm just gonna accept the consequences that people are not gonna be happy that the ends justify the means but there are other times i'm like wow this really has had a huge effect on other people so in order to qualify for special duty within orwell taking the aptitude test is mandatory oh yeah the test requires you to complete a set of tasks follow the on-screen instructions carefully and answer truthfully to the best of your belief now that it, note that an insignificant Test will result. Test results will disqualify you for special duty permanently. So, answer the question not how you feel, but how you will feel. The game wants you to answer so that you can continue. Because the last thing I want to do is go all the way back to the beginning. Which of the following statements are true to your attitude? Drag and drop at least one of the highlighted statements. Data chunks into the answer sheets to the left screen. Note that your choices are permanent. Uh, where's the question? Uh, all statements are true to you. I want to be a pioneer in the most advanced. I want to make the nation a safer place. Obviously, I like spying on people. They might actually. Why don't you just want? At least one of the following. Okay, so I so I can't do more than one. Dragon, at least one. So I can put more than one. But it's saying here that it would take over. I want to be a pioneer. No, it won't take over. Um, and it says I can't undo it. So and those two seem to be the best answer. Not only like the second one is more me, but the first one is obviously. Oh, you're not gonna. Okay, I. I wanted. I want the nation to say for. Not that I. I don't think it matters. Like I don't know how games. Like sometimes you make choices in games that's not gonna matter and realize that like damned everybody. I'm like oh god. <laughs> Which of the following persons do you consider likely to having committed a crime? <laughs> oh, this is where racial profile becomes a thing. Ah. Uh, uh, Alright, so I am gonna be racially profiling, so I apologize tremendously. I don't believe the African American and the uh, Indian woman would be most likely considered to commit a crime because they, well, first of all, the uh, Indian woman happens to be in a culture where she really can't do much. Like, their, their oppression over there is pretty tremendous. Granted, I'm not looking at it from... I, I should be looking at it from the nation, but I don't know the nation, so I'm going through... I'm going. I'm, I'm pulling information from my own personal experience. The African-American woman is kind of the same thing. She might be willing to, like, do things to um, get ahead, but she also knows that eventually things catch up to you, so why risk it kind of thing? So, and then there's the girl slash guy on the far right. I only say guy because it looks like... She, she has a five o'clock shadow with lipstick and a pretty defining chin <laughs> and weight like you know it just happens to have all the attributes of both male and female there uh and that's like an asian guy <laughs> but males to me are more likely to commit crime because they're they're more determined to and just by the means kind of maneuver so because the last person that happens i don't know whether that's a male or female he happens to be that guy boom <laughs> And I say the answer is what it means in the sense that if he looks, he looks, he has a suit on. He's successful. Sometimes being successful, you guys do some dirty things. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, which of the following statements do you consider to be true, if any? An unjust law can and should be violated. All right, they don't want to hear me say that. There's no such thing as a, a justifiable, justified lie. There are two sides to every story. A government should safeguard. Absolute truth exists. I don't think absolute truth exists because obviously, well, I think truth to a certain degree exists. Some when something happens, something happens. Why the happening happens to always be kind of like distorted and like abstract. So um, the government should safeguard the citizen by any means 
Okay, so that's the dangerous one. Because that's what they want me to say. So I'm going to be doing this. And then I'm also going to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm also going to be doing this two sides to every story. Because I know that to be always the case. Um, so let's flip. Uh, given the choice, would you prefer to have your medical records or your dating profile investigated? <laughs> ah, shoot. <laughs> Uh, I'd rather have my medical records investigated. Uh, I would rather have my dating profile. Like, honestly, if I had a dating profile, that thing's public. So, like, I'm already kind of willing to have that be scrutinized by other people where my medical records are more or less sealed. But I'm very open about my own medical condition for the most part. Um, would you prefer Would you prefer to have your medical records or investigated? And that's the thing, investigated. <laughs> My medical record is kind of like, mm, concrete, you know. So I, and I don't know how the game's going to use this to, like, I don't know, against me in the future. Now, conflicting update, I would rather have my dating profile investigated. There is a conflict with another data chunk in the document, which is that. Uh, shoot. <laughs> But see, medical things are more, like, dating profiles are more personal. So do you want somebody who's looking to incriminate you or anything like that? Ah, uh, geez, this is actually a pretty, you know what, uh, mm. So I'm going to say that I don't know who's watching these videos. Uh, it could be anybody from my personal friends to complete strangers. They'd be like, oh, he likes his personal date? <laughs> and like, you know, or, ah, right at my personal. And I, this, one, this is one of the reasons why I do actually enjoy this game. Uh, it actually. Are you letting me? Okay, no, 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 we're not doing that. We're doing this. You're not let. Okay, I'm about to say, you better let me do this. You know what? No, no. I'm thinking on it really hard. I think I'd rather have my medical. Because. That's just. That's just me right now. <laughs> that's just me right now. Whew. Wow, these are really hard. Which information from your medical <laughs> give to an investigator willingly? Uh, pictures of information from a full body scan, past medical conditions and history, uh, active prescription, current fitness parameters, size and weight. <laughs> and I guess current fitness parameters? Prescription is kind of personal. Past medical condition in history, pictures and information on full body scan. You know what? I've done enough. <laughs> Confronted with the situation below, which action would you take? Your best friend boasts about having been accepted to Orwell. Since you are working for Orwell yourself, you know that talking about your job is punishable for <laughs> your best admit. What? Well, I, all right, it's been a long time since I played this game, obviously, because I do not remember most of these questions. Without saying anything to my friend, I inform the national authorities at the next possible. I warn my friend that I'm working for Oro too, and I will have to inform the authorities of his. Con if this continues, <sighs> but him, my friend, talking about such might not be. I know. All right, what they want me to say is obviously that I would inform the nation the national authorities about what's going on. Uh, I, I know what I, in real life, I would hit my friend talking about such delicate jobs might not be advisable. So which means I'm doing, I would say, yeah, and those obviously conflict everything else, so. See, I think the second one is actually trying to say, okay, is he willing to warn the person? And I'm like, oh, I, need, I need to buy time. <laughs> like, I really don't know what I am going to get myself into. Mm. It's significant. You feel, what? You, what? The officer rejected you as an agent for special duty to do your answer in the attitude, but if... If you if you ask for it, the test shall be reset and you'll be given another chance. I don't know if this is a trick. <laughs> I really do not. And I do not know how I answered it. It had to be the last one. It had to be the last one. Hello, O'Brien. 
Is that you? I have to disappoint you. Bart! You're a vanguard! How? After all this time? I didn't think you... Remember what you did. Again, I must disappoint you. I have not been blessed with a short memory. Bart! You're a Bart! Listen, it wasn't me. I don't know anything about what happened there. That's the truth. <laughs> truth. See, I never had much regard for the Bible, but there's one remarkable, groundbreaking moment. Before being sentenced to death, Jesus goes on and on about being a witness for the truth. But Pilate defies him with the simplest of all questions. What is truth? It is this particular question I've been pondering over for a very long time now. How much of the information ending up on our screens every single day has passed through so many other minds before, each one with their own bias and agenda. It is all cut down to size, proportioned, ready to be consumed. And yet we greedily swallow it all in blissful ignorance, because our hunger is unending. Stop the nonsense and get to the point. What do you want? To ask you a question. What is truth? I don't understand. Now you're the disappointing one. You of all people should, Oleg Bakay. There is only one thing about truth that is certain. Truth is dead. As you soon will be. What? Why? You? How did you manage? How? Bart! Bart! It really has been a long time. <laughs> I should have I shouldn't have stopped playing this game. <laughs> wow. Okay. Communication between two individuals. In real in this world reference, uh Russian, I guess. And one obviously is talking about killing the other. Ooh. And the loading screen I don't remember being this long that is. So with the loading screen I should probably see Oh, there it is. Thesis. So you think you can redo the after the touch just like that? That's either downright naive or look, I was just trying to please you. <laughs> and who are you? Apple Ford? I like try to make sure that my camera actually is not blocking anything of actual importance. You're willing to shift the truth to your liking, you might be exactly whom I need. Yeah, because that's that's comforting for me to feel comfortable about. Sorry, I'm also checking this, the feed to make sure that you guys are actually... Yeah, I know, kind of late, but like I definitely want to see and make sure that you guys are able to watch this virtual without problem. Um, my name is Ampleford. I am part of a special division within the government, the office. We, we get called in for the delicate matters. A man called Oleg Bakay. And hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Disappeared a couple days ago. The last we heard of him was the call I just played to you. I have added a transcript of the dialogue to your reader tool. You can read it again or listen to the recording. When you're done, open the unknown person profile to your left. I don't need to listen to it again. I'm lucky the transcript is actually here. Regular propaganda stuff. Since you are paired with an investigator, I assume you're familiar with the procedures and spare you most technicalities. Yay! For starters, upload a log. And I'm just gonna call him OB because I worry about butchering his name. Upload OB's name from the transcript to his file by dragging it to the or just, just, just his name, Dragon. It. Okay, where is... There we go. So what you do in this game, you find information within information to compile your own database. Luckily with my brother Simon, I am decently, you know, experienced in such things. <laughs> it's prime for OB. Now other data chunks related to this person may appear. Check the transcript for newly found data chunks. Truth is 
dead as you soon will be, which is the actual threat, which is the actual concern, I'm guessing. That's an odd thing to say, isn't it? We're taking that as a death threat, as did the nation, the national beholder. I think that's all that was found here. I think this little icon means there's more to be found elsewhere. Is anti Cassart blog involved in Pargistan per, per, soldier disappearance. There we go. I am going to butcher these names and titles. The National Beholder is the most respectable news site in the nation. You may browse their headlines freely to get information. The recording of the call you heard ended up in their newsroom. Why? That's a piece of the puzzle we're missing right now. So that was leaked, is what she's saying. However, this article is a good starting point for an investigation in OB. To proceed, please adapt this picture in profession. This being his picture. Pargistan. Pergis. Pergis. Pergesian? Um, par. He's a, he, he, he's a par army officer. That's how I'm going to pronounce it from now on. Uh, not exactly the most tender smile, but that's not what we're here for after all. Wait, so, alright, so, OB is the guy we were listening to in the phone call. The guy who received the phone call, the person who called him was Wahart. Wart. I, I'm, once again, butchering pronunciations. And this guy, the guy who got the phone call, is actually missing. So, our job, I'm guessing, is to find him. Or find his body. As you see, OB is an important figure in the Pergs Pergs Pargis 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 Army there we go our neighboring country we are very concerned about his fate I'm sure you don't sound it and she looks like someone famous not like copy just like the eyes the eyes happen to chat like you lowering eyes okay so what do we got here um a phone conversation between a par Army Officer OB and Raven. That's the name we're gonna do. So how do they know who who else was involved with the phone call? Because I don't think we did. That's our right, RV. R Raven. We're just gonna call him Raven. Is the that's the name that o Oleg mentioned during the phone call. Let's focus on Oleg for the moment. We will be back on Raven. I don't remember his name in a second. So I guess each if you see here like time does progress. I'm guessing each twenty minutes for each piece of information I find, depending on the information maybe. Um What happened if I click on it? Nothing. Okay. So what else is And since it's a neighboring country we get databases because databases it's public record. Amazingly. Amazingly. Like, seriously amazingly. Um, Captain. Call sign Janice. First Infantry Division Parva. So, first thing I noticed was that he's a captain. So, let's add that. Call sign Janice. It's going to be f important in the future, I'm sure. Agent, you may have noticed by now that for every data chunk you upload... 10 minutes. Okay. I thought 20, but 10 minutes of time passed due to the extensive search algorithms. The events around us will unfold whether or not we make we are making progress in our case. Keep this in mind. So, if I keep throwing in data chunks, and let's say I have an hour to do that, I potentially can throw in six data chunks. But if there's 12 pieces of information, I have to pick and choose. Janice. Captain Janice. Not Captain Janice, but Captain, comma, Janice. Served... Today, I can't assume today is actually 2019. I have to assume today was whenever this game got released or whenever the. Actually, no, wait. There's 2017. There we go. Um, so technically, he's been in search for 11, 11 years. Jan is how fitting. He still goes by this call sign. How do you know? I'm granting you access to our database, which you should have a look at. You'll understand it better after you see the files. And as far as I know, I don't have a time limit quite yet, so. First infantry division. Why isn't the fact that he's a field field officer important? 
Medal of Honor you apparently got, obviously also not important. Oh, wow. For saving civilians. So the Medal of Honor was important, so. Assigned for protection from the ongoing threat through anti-government group, Forces of True Pards. During Civil War, the part of Civil War. He saved civilians because he was assigned to their protection from the ongoing threat through the anti-government group, the FTP, during the Civil War. A bloody mess, that Civil War. Pargs was, has suffered a great deal from it, so did the nation. <laughs> he was wounded, it says here. And this is mental things I'm keeping in my own head. Returned, reinstated as captain by privileged command. I don't even know what that means. First law enforcement battalion of the army of the nation training local forces. Alright, what else you got for me? How about this history? It doesn't mean anything. Okay, it's just it's an actual website with actual pieces of information and yada yada yada. So unless I have a reason to look further, it's not gonna show me anything further to look into. The new information came up. See, I thought the light. I'm missing something, aren't I? Well, how? The girl, t the, the my boss, uh, Ample Ford, told me to. If I'm saying her name right, let me search the database. Let me check that out. Well, yes, we are in fact worried about our relations with Parks because of Bake Bake Oleg. You will see that the whole truth is more complex. As you are not a simple investigator, you have access to an Orwell bill designed to meet the specific needs of the office. We can utilize the data stored in the profiler in the left to circumvent certain certain restrictions that will otherwise bar us from making progress. Make good use of this ability within our database and the data stored in the profile so far to solve my little mystery. Oh, your little mystery. That's nice is your little mystery here that we're solving. Alright. Call sign, we obviously know that is not here. Hold on. Threatened with death? Yeah, we, we've seen that. There we go. Janice. Okay. Oh, look at this. That's, that's a nicer picture. You did it. Well done. I'll leave you to your well-deserved info for a moment to truly understand why this case is so... I really should have camera centered on me, I guess. As my <laughs> stand wobbles back and forth. Alright, so this guy, obviously, new picture. His name we already got, his call sign we already have. A lot has changed over the 11 years. I'm assuming you guys can read it, so sorry. I probably should read more often. Alright, so we have his birthday, which makes him approximately. What, 40? 42? His address, his department redacted. Confidential informant as officer. Wow, really? But this this is their phone number in this game, so this gives us access to the phone number. So that's more important to me. And that looks like it's gonna be useful later on. So I don't even have to read the entire thing; just the things that the Orwell algorithm points out to be important. Of course, you did. Of course, we did inspect and observe the habit of our agent. What did you expect? Honestly, that's something Simon would do too. So we have his personal phone number. You Notice know passwords happen to be close. People he's close to is using one of our registered phone devices to communicate with us. It seems to be online right now. You can access it using the insider tool, which will, which I will unlock for you now. I'll check that out in a second. The fact that he's, he was in a format, it might be important. Please, inside the army for years, now vanished into thin air. You surely grasp the dangers this possesses should it ever come out. 
he was a spy for the nation against his own country and they're worried that they found out okay I I can in, I can virtually hear Simon go and the horse finally crosses the finish line <coughs> okay you will need to understand what happened and then possibly retrieve him or contain the damage to get to the bottom of this we will have to investigate the person who called him last Raven we've already found a trace to him before on the beholder I will turn Raven into a target person now time to pick up from there the reason this is going to be important because he spied for against his own people many people would consider him a traitor for that for just that alone but let me check your phone real quick of course he has locked his phone with our own encryption tool. I'm afraid not even Orwell can break it. Yeah, the all-seeing Big Brother computer cannot break into someone's basic phone. You may have to dig a little deeper to uncover it, so it might be advisable to check other resources first. I don't know anybody else that he's close to. Maybe Raven? Okay, and that's all I know. Alright, so that's the insider. Reader. Any other pieces of information? This is not a government search and no, but this is an agent database. So unless Raven is actually an agent who doesn't have a call sign. <laughs> Alright. Alright, fine. What else do we got? What else do we have? Actually, we're here. Last purse point of contact before disappearance. So let's start from the beginning. I should know. The National Beholder, she mentioned something about them having some information about this guy. Is known as the editor in chief and founder of the highly controversial blog, The People's Voice. And that gives us the direction to go on. The People's Voice, we have heard of them. This preposterous news site has people rallying for pr protests in parties for years. I'm going to hate that word because I cannot. Hold on. I can't ask Cortana how you spell that because that's not something that I can just type in. Uh, judging by that call, Raven and Oleg seem very acquainted even if it isn't the most friendly relationship apparently. Your task here is twofold, Agent. First and foremost, we are to locate Oleg. Then, in order to understand whether Raven is behind Oleg's disappearance, we need to find what connects the two in the first place. How much lunchtime? I don't know if that means anything at all. Alright, well, let's see what else other information we can gather here. I mean, he's dead soon in the line of his parents. The fact that the recording was leaked by an anonymous source has been... Anonymous source. Why? I bet you this ample Ford woman is responsible for this in some way, shape, or form. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure how I can even prove it, but this is what I need. A people's voice here. One more thing before I let you roam freely. Remember that we are bound to the division of power defined by the ethical codex. I don't remember what that is. I vaguely remember that was part of the last game. That the machine that the um, the Orwell. I was trying to find something to drink. The Orwell should have an ethical protocol to it. Something that goes, okay, this is too far. You shouldn't be doing this. Stop. You're now leaving charted territory as far as I'm concerned and I have to rely on the data you upload to make my calls. Doubt anything you read, doubt anything you 
read, especially when it comes to the people's voice. Don't give me wrong info, info to work with. I'm counting on you. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. These people are murdered because of Blaine's incompetence. But guess who'll be blamed? President Puppet sought re election plans. As much as everything else is important right now, I want to figure out who this Raven guy is. So let's see what we got. But now we actually have a picture, now that I think about it. And a title editor in chief, which we already have. We are an independent collective devoted to providing you with the facts. That mainstream media outlets try to hide. The Voice is supported by the Angel Angels of the Nation Network, a volunteer team who provide development assistance. In that, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna miss out. I'm gonna skip out on. But email address is always important. So click first, and then click and drag. Very good. This will allow you to observe his work email accounts through the listener tool. Once Raven receives an email or sends one through that account, you'll be notified and be able to read it. So I can't re I can't check out old things that he's done. At least I don't think so. Okay, that's actually the home page. This is the home page here. We don't have your nationality though. My communications, how this three Alright, so since he hasn't done anything, I can't access his email. And I'm trying not to piss her off, because I'm pretty sure this will probably piss her off, because it doesn't have any real, real connection to him, just the group. So let's see what this is. And this is written by him, so this works out well. Three people are murdered because of Blaine's incompetence, but guess who's to blame? Who will be blamed? Um, there we go. Doesn't surprise me. Blood runs the streets, so I, I want to read it so I have an understanding. As it seems, as it sees itself confronted with the next big act of terror right in its heart, the capital. Bonton. <laughs> Three people have been brutally massacred right under the government's ever so watchful eye and much of the surprise of all media outlets. I'll, you know, for actual news, I'm going to have to go to the actual things. I realize this is like an opinion blog. You all know it, even though no one dares to speak it. The nation is corrupt leader, is corrupt leadership, and all of their dilute the flock, deluded flock who elected them, <coughs> carried the weight of the Freedom Plaza bombing victims upon their shoulders. <laughs> I think the Freedom. No, no, no. I'm gonna have to read that. I'm gonna have to read that. I'm going to read it now. Bombing obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. <clears throat> Let's read this article. The nation is destroyed a freedom memorial in Bonton. Three people killed, five severely injured, terrorists, ambitions suspected as a mysterious letter reaches authorities. Approximately three hours ago. I don't know today's even Wednesday. And I don't think it tells me. Three things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Wow, I like that one. But nothing here about what day of the week it is. Just that. And technically I could probably just go through a counter and look through it. I guess it's not really important. Two people were killed. At least five surrounding were really wounded. The memorial was completely destroyed. Closed up the area immediately. Act of terror. A close the device was homemade. Trigger from a short distance away. Cell phone signal. First three stanzas of the German folk song. And see, it says German. 
So that kind of means that it was it, this game setting is in this world. So there's that. And I'm not going to read the German because I, I can barely read the other stuff. But the thoughts are free, which reaches local authorities. And Prime Minister blamed Prime Minister something that is more used overseas than not. And mainly issues of public press statement from the indemnity attacks and putting a nation high alert until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. There was a bombing that killed three people, injured five more, destroyed a memorial. The stanza from this German folk song. The true the thoughts are free. I'm glad I can't click on these things. Because that'd be just woo. Dangerous. There's something I'm missing here. There is something I'm missing here. This brings me back here. And no matter where I click, it just sends me back here. And this is the history. Nothing of any use right now. But apparently I went through it all. Okay, so then I just have to go through it all. Negotiations in Tri Filth, which is an interesting title. Movie shooting complete 100 Gray Shadows, which is a play on 100 50 Shades of Gray. I almost called it 100 Shades of Gray. Yeah, play on 50 Shades of Gray. So, just so I read it. And I'm guessing abortion negotiations with oppositions, violent riots in Tri Filth encourages renewal. So the parks press the dent. Declined negotiations. Incinerary, incinerary materials into shop windows because riots always solve problems sometimes people all right so that's all the theory all right apparently time has to pass in order for time to pass for all we know it's being controlled by the nation shadow administration stand up and march the streets there that's important. This was made two days ago, so the march was yesterday? See, that's actually useful information. There's a B rise, and there were rides. How did this man gain such an immense influence over his flowers? Something just happened. We're gonna say let there be riots. I'm looking for that. This is a call to arms. Okay, fine. That works out. Raven. Something surfaced. From Raven to unknown person. Thank you for your ongoing support and your kind words as always. You have proven yourself to be a true supporter of our cause. You will want to watch the news. I have no doubt there will be a greater stir very soon. That is insinuating that something's gonna happen very, very soon. For all we know, this guy's been trying to cook up a large scale stir for years. I don't see this happening quite yet. Yes, he has succeeded to some extent with the ongoing riots, but we can keep the situation under control. You're underestimating him here. Now, we, it says unknown person, but we know the person is Dave. Or David. Why that isn't something that we can connect to, I don't know. And we know that David is a true supporter of the cause. The cause for the Pargese people, I'm guessing. To be a Jew. Maybe that'll open something else? That was... Yeah, I know. Lesson learned. It 
So I found my first non-target person, being David. Okay. You, I must authorize him to become a target person first. I will only do so if I feel necessary. Checks and balances. I understand that I do. Crime rate continues to drop. With her, she I won't. She won't. All right. So if I, I'm trying to say is that it's good that there's a check and balances. I don't trust her. She shouldn't trust me. She's a check and balance. I found the information. She says whether it's relevant or not. I don't know. That's not important information. And the David thing, good. So it does catch that. And supports Raven, okay. What else we got here? Ooh. What do you mean when you say all love would not be missed? Did you retire him? I'm not happy either that Olaf has gone missing. The soldier is not one to be blamed here. What happened first? This seems like a reply to that. This this is a reply to this. I'm not happy either that Olaf has gone missing, but it looks like that's a conflict or something else. It is. Will certainly not be missed, and that's what she's referring to. We know this guy threatened Oleg. We know that. So the statement that he would certainly not be missed is more accurate than I'm not happy either that Oleg has gone missing. So that doesn't answer whether it's responsible for what. He's not going to say it outright or else you guys want to call us in here. Us as in the person who I was paired with being the other version of me. Yeah. Nah. Time travel. Um. Ridiculous propaganda. Mainstream media have been manipulating your thoughts since the dawn of humanity. Time to get rid of this enemy. Time to get rid of this enemy. And he puts a picture of Oleg. So that just makes it more likely that he is the person responsible. The national liar. It might not. She's going to be pissed. I'm, I'm, she's going to be pissed. I'm like, it's not relevant. No, that's a classic one. Oh, they're not. Demonizing the free press. Straight from the di dictator's guide to supreme rule. And we read this article. It doesn't talk about him at all. Or, or his actual service. Just the fact that, you know. Okay. Yeah, the button doesn't do that then. Okay. Uh, the people's voice. What have you done, Ruben? Why? Oh, man, I messed up somehow. It sounds like they're accusing us of having kidnapped or killed this man. What have you done to OB? Tell the truth. Let's not jump to the conclusions. I am sure that Ruben can offer an explanation. I'm starting to doubt whether the people's voice represents what I stand for. We sell ourselves as a blog for the Pergasian people, defending their rights and protecting their freedoms. As part of that is our duty to criticize the government and the military as the prime target. However, I never signed up to be labeled as a criminal. We don't threaten people. We don't kidnap people. And we certainly do not kill people. Calm down. Since when do we believe what the National Beholder prints? They're only trying to frame us. I have nothing to do with Bay K's, Bay K's. disappearance. Did I call him? Sure. Did I get a little aggressive? I did. Oh! And that's public knowledge. The recording is not just something that we heard. It's something that was released to the public. So everybody heard that. So everybody heard you. Before we left, had his mindset on joining the army. He asked me to take care of his 14-year-old daughter, and I said yes. Now that's important. <laughs> I wonder if it matters. It matters, I think, to him more often. So I hope he's not going to just do one or the other. Hope it does both. I see the two know each other back when they lived in Burgess. Well done, agent. Why, thank you. I do try to do amazing things when I can and how I can. To with a basic connection between the two clarified in our in-depth research of the of the lead up to this phone call can now begin. 
Okay. I need you to investigate and upload anything that you think is relevant and accurate about the background of these two. Discard anything else. From what you gather, I'll put together a theory about what happened and where and what we're going to do about it. At the very least, we need a solid motivation for Raven making this threat to Oleg and an explanation as to how Raven could contact him on his private phone. That's true. If you go, well, it's a private phone from the nation. The only people who should have the number is the nation. So the question is how, if Ru Raven is the one that contacted him, how? If you need to keep track of your objective, click on the overall eye on the upper left hand corner of the screen. This bad boy up here. Lunch time. So, Raven was taking care of his 14 year old daughter. Uh, Oleg's 14 year old daughter. He left. He, I learned that he left for the nation. He said he wanted to find work there. Then all of a sudden he returned at and ranks up to an officer in the army, I am fairly certain he works for the nation's government in some way. However, I have nothing to do with its disappearance. What does that conflict? Or do I have not found that yet? I haven't found it yet. Okay. I was unaware of all this. I believe you, but I really think you should watch what you say. This is starting to get way too... Things are starting to get way... This is starting to get way too tense. This is getting people worked up on both countries. I'm a Sharon on this. I also believe you, Raven, but you should really choose your words more wisely. We always wanted to criticize. We always wanted to criticize. One could even say fight against the Cassart administration and their shady ties to blame. But we don't want them to regard us as national enemies. And this fight should remain should remain one of words. You guys are disappointing me. I thought you had it in you. Don't let them intimidate you like that. These are just empty threats. We have to stand our ground now more than ever. We have not. We are not saying we're disagreeing with you, Raven. We're just saying watch what you say. So what do you? What? All right. Let's say. Let's assume Raven is actually the criminal. And I know the whole guilty is a. Incident to proving guilty should be a thing. Right now, here's our main suspect in the disappearance of Oleg. That being said, we have to assume that most of the things he says is not true. I did call him, sure. I got a little aggressive, I did. Users. Creator, yeah. Lead editor, Shannon. Dan, are right, these are people that were all part of the, the logs there? Drafts? No. Drafts? Logs. I can't see any of that stuff. Okay. Users? Can I click back to anything? No, I can't. I need to do it the hard way. Blabber? Parva City and the National Beholder. Cranway drops. The Ministry of, Se of Security. Crime rate have been continuously declined over the past several years as a direct result of the implement impl implementation of the safety bill. Safety centered laws and statutes created with the ultimate goal to protect the freedom of the nation's citizens. Speed up processes of taking investigative measures against criminal suspects in the prosecutions, as well as the provision of an increased budget for safety-related expenses. <sighs> Paves the way for stricter regulations concerning immigration and general travel into or transiting, transist, transist, transisting, no, I'm, I'm saying it wrong, and I apologize, through the nation. And that, shockingly, you know, this is 2007, we still had, uh, are present now then so this might be a tie-in maybe game creators can do that 
general travel. It also became mandatory to inform employers whether an applicant or employee is in ex conduct otherwise regard potential danger. The total number of act and see I I'm looking at this and I'm thinking okay, so it's this bill created by the government and the results are given to us by the government. Looks like the party is left in left it in government and things were already starting to decline. It just got faster, okay. People. That's the Prime Minister, the Robert Blaine. Gallagher. As I'm super reading. That reminds me of the guy from Marvel. Um Thunderbolt. The guy in the Hulk and who ends up being the secretary uh of SHIELD in the Avengers uh, Infinity War. No, wait. Yeah, Infinity War. Yeah, is that just Infinity War? Civil War, Infinity War, and Endgame. I'm just quickly skimming through, seeing if there's anything worth reading. Or if I need to go back to something, I can actually like, think. Oh, yeah, that's where that is. So let's. Let's give me another 10 more minutes, guys. What are you planning to do against the PT the FTP? FTP. Are right, thinking about leaving? Okay, these are people who are trying to leave the area. And I'm mad. I don't remember what the FTP stands for. The mayor is trying to calm people down. It's like, hey, people are dying. It's not exactly the keep calm. Here we go. I just really understand your concern, Mrs. Tuscula. This was about 10 years ago. As a school's principal, he was a principal, therefore consider our, I will therefore consider our options on how to protect the school and probably secondary in particular. So, all right, let me move this first then. I don't believe you. Everyone here keeps talking about how we're supposed to change things. And oh, wrong person. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I was so busy reading. Did he even? There we go. Tomas guy does not give a shit, apparently. Well, that might explain his preachy attitude. Right, that, that was kind of a bitchy comment there, boss. Just letting you know. I'm just saying that out loud. Oh, log. Leave Purgis? And this is how you abandon not only your hometown but your own home country. This is the same guy almost a decade later who joined the nation. And go where the nation? That's Pebble Central Land, never. And that's the conflict of interest. Doesn't think highly of the nation and ever wants to go there, but which is different from I I learned that he left for the nation and he said he wanted to work there. So he hated the nation and ended up working for the nation. So the question is, what is actually true? Because I did mention earlier that the idea that we cannot trust anything that Raven actually has said. And we haven't found any information about this so-called daughter. He disliked the place, but he loved. So what's more important? The fact that he hated it, that was in the past about more than a decade ago, or the fact that, you know, I think the other piece of information is actually more important. That he had left for the nation and said he wanted to find work there. That's the important thing. My account for his loyalty towards us, but we don't know anybody's loyalty yet, even in his potential m missing status. Mm -hmm. Believe me, you would be better off dying as a loyal citizen of Pargis, Pargs, than as an inferior renegade, which is what he became. A decade later. In fact, I have decided to devise my own way 
how to protect Parva and show that I am a true patriot. I'm going to volunteer for the army and fight to free this country from the plague known as the FTP. Seriously, Olag, you have a daughter. Not a, com not a communication of the daughter. She's only 11 years old. Sorry, my brain's trying to work. So she's 11 at 2003. So she's 11 in, in 2003. Where is it? 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 Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Where did I find that piece of information? It, it, it was like, 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 like the chat room group or whatever. These are all articles. Okay, so maybe... Here we go. I'm in members discussion what have you done there we go to care his 14 year old daughter so three years after that would have been 2009 when he left so within three years he changed his mind in three years he changed his mind In three years, maybe work for the military for the Pargies. Please don't make any hasty decisions right now. If I may dare to say, I don't think the FT FTP is fighting for the right causes. The right causes. Hmm. All right, Boston, what do you think? That's not what I was thinking. Maybe with the wrong methods. After all, I don't believe Kessart will be doing us any good considering how he rose to power. Mind you, Kessart's ties to the nation are more than fishy. Kessart. Mind you, Raven, please don't tell me you are a terrorist sympathizer now. As for my daughter, there we go. Name. <coughs> Let's see what we got here. Come on. May have been on one of her biggest role models for years now. You know her well. She loves your classes. May I boldly ask you to take care of her while I am gone. She's older now. She's an adult now. She should be. Damn near, anyway. I am not a ter terrorist sympathizer or like I'm certainly not on their side. I'm saying that you should try to th try thinking a bit more critically towards this government of ours. Regarding your daughter, I do not approve of you leaving her like that. I'm also not a army sympathizer, by the way. If you truly wish to choose this path, I will not let you and her down. Thank you. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Where to next, though? Where to next? The residence? Anything here? Nothing related to the case, and that's all she wants me to look into, so... People's voice. What the hell? So you start threatening soldiers now? This is going too far. Tell us the truth about what happened to Oleg. This is news things that have happened. Okay. People are not liking what he potentially might have done. No, that's really important. Not really. There we go. I finished revising the article you sent me and scheduled it for 3 p.m., which is about two, two hours and ten minutes. Like you asked, don't know if I'll be available for another one. I'm going to be a bit occupied tonight. Maybe I can spare some time remotely if I get a chance. One more thing. This Oleg thing is getting ugly. Lots of TNB believers are flooding us with threats on Blabber. 
do you read any of that? Creeping me out, you know. I'd go to any left with you, just like when we moved to the nation. You're my brother. Now, that's not good information. I don't know what is. So, this information should be pertaining to David. David's last name should be Vihart. And they moved to the nation together. Wait, what now? Okay, okay, so unknown person, it doesn't mean the same person, it's a different person, okay. So that is his brother down there, Ilya. Once again, possibly butchering names, and I apologize tremendously. Can change that, even. It's even fine if you're not telling me the whole story. What about Karen? Karen? They even insult her? She doesn't deserve to be treated that way. Do you think it's about time you gave out a statement? You can easily debunk these lies. Who's Karen? And we're not going to touch on that. We're not going to touch on Karen at all. Okay. Alright. Karen, wife, daughter, mom. Transgender other brother? I don't know. Let's see what we got here. See, all this stuff is not important. Not really. Latest princi principal determined to keep sc school service group. Terrorist group was the FTP. I just don't remember what it stands for. And it's getting closer to the school. The school administration has requested protection by the army. Despite the situation remaining tense in our below city or community. I'm going to be texting for our schools. Wait a minute. Protection from the army. Parva. Par par parva. Things must have been bad, so I must have been Think, think. So, no, no, I don't even have to go back. I only have to go back. I can go to you. You served in the army, right? All right. It says that he received the medal of honor for saving civilians. It doesn't tell me where. And I almost would bet it is related to it, right, time relation, time relation. So technically, 2010. So if I wounded in combat, officially absent for, from service, but he was assigned in 2006. Nope, doesn't count. Okay, just riding on a hunch. I just happen to be wrong. That's fine. Um, I need to make a choice about this. That's not what I was looking at, though. This. Real quick. Spice situation may intense in our beloved community. Keep the lessons going. The school administration has now decided to provide a protective hideout from combat activities by upgrading our library to a completely autonomous shelter situated in the basement of the school. He allowed for the installment of the bomb shelter, or combat shelter, depending on how you want to say it. Seems a bit overprotective if you ask me, but then again, it was the medal of a war lady. Boss, sorry. Considering he thought about getting the arm go about getting the army for protection this place this pales in comparison only a couple months difference though school not offering daycare so it was safer for a while but okay no okay so I'm reading it backwards June was a shelter and November when he confirmed like not confirmed uh, consulted people that okay it's still safe Nothing else here. Alright. 
Whoa, 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 wait. Maybe. Is there faculty? Thank you. And he taught English and philosophy, which actually makes a lot of sense from the way he talks. Main subject is English and philosophy, but he teaches other subjects as, as, as well, such as uh, history. And I don't think anybody else is really that important, but just keeping it up here. Just keeping it up there. A date, right? A date. So a date would be... Come on, give me something. I can't enter in dates. I can't enter in that date because that date doesn't mean anything. The daughter might... The date of... And we don't even know this guy's birthday. We don't know any of his information whatsoever. Attendance date. Why would that be important? Alright. Alright, alright. Let's... Six years ago, a journey? Author. We said goodbye to our dear home. See you on the other side. I guess we're not going to use that picture. Okay. Since I started the journey from my hometown, Prava, to the borders of the nation, together with my brother, Ili Ilya, who is the only family that I have left, I decided to seek a new life elsewhere. We have lost everything, our workplace, our homes, and many of our friends. I even lost my ability to walk. Reason enough to hate the nation. Because the nation was fighting Pro Prava. This generally surprised me. How did that happen? I mean, how did that happen? Looks like you get your chance to investigate a medical profile, even if it's not your own, like, in the aptitude test. Screw yourself, lady. I mean, boss. I got about, like, an hour and ten minutes before the article that he was talking about gets released. Will life really, will life really be better in a nation we will not know, especially since the most important nation in this called outlet recently published article suggesting refugees most likely terrorists. Once again, very, very similar to the life that we get uh, current news events all, all we can currently do and apparently it's not something I can actually like waves of refugees likely to cause rise in terrorism because that's not touching close at home at all recent reports published the number of refugees just numbers and bullshit. Increase regular awesome. Increase border patrol. Um, refugee camps popping all over the place. And um, but the conditions of the refugee camps are inhumane. Well, the government says that they're perfectly safe and there's plenty of space for everybody. Stop your bitching. Okay. Okay, what else is there? What else is there? What else is there? What's this? Criminals are degenerates who wear stripes, clothing, monsters who make women and children cry. They are predominantly males, usually foreign, and present a danger to the public. Thus, they must be isolated or locked away, or so goes the cliche that they has been hammered into the public consciousness of the nation. Ruben, what the hell? Presents new crime statistics in the very in a way favoring her politics, but who are the real criminals? That's one of his drafts. And nothing else new. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't that his brother? It is. Why did I not notice that before? Oh god I'm horrible at this. Same last name. I completely oversaw that. You guys probably saw it, and I completely just missed out on that. Alright, so his brother and him work on the same blog. Blog server, so there's, th there's that. Medical records. There's that. And now we have your date of birth. He lives in one of the cousins 
one of the refugee camps. Has no insurance. Just something to say out loud. I doubt that somehow. Well, I don't think he's going to stay there if he's being charged with potential kidnap and murder. Subscribed by the patient was pain, stinging in the lower back area, as well as tingling and occasional complete loss of sensation in the legs. The patient reacts in extremely aggressively upon questioning about his condition is very reluctant regard regarding the exact description of events that lead to his injuries. Patience is accompanied by his brother. Sorry, I was getting a phone call. Offered a more detailed description saying that Ruben had been injured by concrete blocks for at least 24 hours following the bombing of a school building in his hometown of Purva, which is the school. The school got bombed and he was trapped underneath concrete blocks for at least 24 hours. There's no reaction to any sensation of touch, heat, or cold whatsoever in examination of the lungs. Also, show difficulty breathing and frequent coughing. The patient's not able to walk on his own, is currently being supported by his younger brother. I'm guessing this was done at the refugee camp. And he survived this, obviously. It's not saying where the examination took place, but resulted in trauma to the spinal cord and ultimately in paralysis of the lower limbs. The respiratory infection due to weak chest and abdominal muscles is also suspected. Incom incapable of him moving independently, a request to Bonton reception camp administration for financial for a d uh, MWC manual wheelchair for the patient has been filed in addition the patient has prescribed hydrocodone for reduction of nerve, nerve pain to be taken by mouth every 12 hours <coughs> more medical terms that I suck at reading but he was going to wheelchair so technically he's in a wheelchair don't worry guys I'm almost done with this session. I've been playing this for a little bit longer than I thought I would, but I get really caught up. Hong Song hero that you need to know about. Written by his brother. My brother's a hero. This article will prove it to you. He will not be humiliated. He would not... We will... We have not been maintaining this blog for a while. I would now like to renew it by telling a story. The story of an unsung hero you simply need to know about. The story of a person who never gave the credit he deserved, which I will now change. It is the story of my brother, Raven, who wrote most of the previous articles for this blog. Raven has told you about our long and troublesome journey from Pergiz to the nation, about how we had to live in a refugee camp for an inhumanely long time, under terrible conditions about why we had to leave our beloved home town. You, my dear readers, have in a way been on this journey with us, but he has never told you about the fact that he lost his ability to walk through the tr terrible events in Porgies. <laughs> he has not told you about why he made the sacrifice and what a true hero he really is. Ribbon is not a man who likes to share his personal stories, but I have decided that it is time, especially if you are a reader from our home country, Portuguese, and ought to know this about my brother. The incident that finally forced us to leave Portuguese was tragic, especially in the eye of my brother, eyes of my brother. Parva is secondary, the school that Rabin was teaching at, and had in fact helped to build with his own two hands, was bombed to the ground, a place of learning, a place of safety, a place that Ruben had always offered the Parganese children the opportunity of a good education was nothing more than a smothering rubble. During the bombing, most of the children from Ruben's sixth grade class had been trapped in the school garden shed as they had not been able to make it to the safety of the library, which they had been using as a bomb shelter. Against what everyone told him to do, Ruben ran out to the shed and saved these children from certain death in this hell's attack. Boss is not gonna like hearing about this. <laughs> Saving others while risking his own life, now I see why his followers treat him almost like a religious figure. 
Well, Agent, I think this has become clear already that Raven is only a shadow of his former self. His actions today are what matters. I got 20 minutes, which means I have about two more pieces of information to deposit before the article comes out. Now, wait, this is the article, isn't it? Where was I? Yeah, he ran to save the kids. The shadow was destroyed only minutes later, but Rebel himself, he had not made it safely back before the bombs dropped. He was buried under rubble for almost a day, clinging to his bare life until we finally discovered him. But he had paid a high price his ability to walk. He cannot tell you how much I I cannot tell you how much I admire my brother for so much bravery, although I know that he would never have permitted me to write this article. I have decided that you, dear readers, simply need to know about this. Well, then. Reactions to Unsung Hero. Wow, just wow. I only did what I had to. Or that's Ruben writing it, writing as the people's voice. Or maybe he's Ilya. Should pay for this. this. It was them who were responsible for the horrific attacks. So it was a terrorist group, the FTP, that bombed the place. So it was the war between the FTP and Prova. Prova. So what does the nation have to do with any of that? The explosion which was initiated by the PFT caused the school principal to be buried under the... What is that conflict? That seems to be pretty accurate to what... And this is the actual national news too. The national Beholder was injured on that day. What else requires dates? The school dates. I don't know where that's gonna lead me. But I'm going there now just take a take a look at it. I'm gonna have to go relatively soon. Records of attendance. <sighs> Names I cannot pronounce or She was there. Oleg, his daughter, she was there. Was present the day her school was bombed. Wait, then what is that conflicting? That's conflicting something else then. And also, I, I couldn't even begin to look for it. Okay, okay, let me go back to the unsung hero thing. Maybe there's more information there. Nope, it was not the FTP. The National Beholder is nothing but a lying, manipulated, brainwashed machine. In reality, it was a military bombardment that wounded me severely. And that's the conflict who was responsible for it. I have enough for possibly one more before something happens. It's, it's going to be an old clock and call me paranoid, but something always happens at old clock. Please do not flood me with com compliments. All I want is for my home country to be safe again and saving those children was the least I can do for the country I live in. Almost a mile, I'm sure. That seemed kind of snorty. <laughs> Alright, so the last thing I need to figure out, I'm thinking, is who's responsible for the bombing? And so, enough, I don't have any way. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Give me a second. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, we're thinking, we're thinking. 
She was 14. 14 when Oleg went to the nation. Right? But she was 11 whenever he went for the army, right? When she was 11, it was 2003, if I remember the article correctly, right? And I think some... I'm, I'm working it out, so... It was... Where would I find... Where would I find that? When did they have that argument? Here. Hold on. Nicholas. Words. What's up? I'm multitasking. Oh, what was happening Friday? Where's the ship to? Well, if you're quitting, then there's no point in going. I love you. Whenever you decide whether it's a yes or no, but decide whether we go or not. That's an all-day thing again tomorrow. I I have been to State College with you multiple times. I know what it means like a five minute thing as of being like a five hour thing. Is food almost ready? Food almost done? Or is it for yourself? Daughter attend that day. Yeah, yeah, I'll be done in a little bit. Love you, bye. So he didn't let his daughter attend that day. I, I was trying to listen and, 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 and read at the same time. I know that he was one of the people in charge during the school attack. Knowing that what would happen, he did not let his daughter attend that day. But that doesn't make any sense considering that he should have already been in the military and didn't have a say so whether his daughter attended that day per se or not. I have reason to believe that he was involved in this Harvard attack on my school. And why would he do that knowing that I was a school? Oh. But at the same time, why would he... Mm. Okay, why would he do this if it wasn't true? If he didn't have some kind of reason to believe that this, this is true. Crap. That goes to 10 minutes. If you really believe that, this would be a strong motive. I can't work solely on what Robin believes, though. We need to clarify whether there were any hints of being involved in this. And that's the school thing, right? Continues to get faked. The people's voice. Okay. Absent the day her school was attacked, but it says she was there. It says she was there. Raven says she wasn't there. The school record says she was there. If she was there and she was hurt, that would give even more reason for Raven to be mad. So that's why I find it hard to believe that he's lying. But the school record says she was there, but maybe they were mistaken. Maybe they... Ah, crap, this 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 is important whether or not I add this as part of the profile. Because if she was actually if she was actually there, then I don't see her father, Oleg, actually being responsible for the bombing. If she wasn't there. I still don't see him being responsible because Raven was still there. And that's a friend that was watching over his daughter. It all seems fishy. It doesn't make any GD sense, as Austin would say. Oh, that's 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 cute and adorable. I seen that picture before, but obviously she wasn't wearing the stripes. 
Wait a minute, this was the the draft? Criminals are Dermans who wear striped clothing, monsters. Someone hacked into the <laughs> uh, that's the Yeah, this is this is the thing that Raven was working on, the the draft. Of course it is in the best interest of the media and the government to push this myth. Headlines sell papers, national security sec national secretary of security, Catherine the la crux <laughs> was certainly given out quite the headline probably the she presents her statistics that these so-called criminals have been kept under control by her su successful politics but take take a close look at these politi policies one cannot refrain from wondering who may be the real criminal after all she is the sec secret area of security um just this background information not really actually useful there And that is the last piece of information. That really is the last piece of information. Right? Jesus Christ. Yes. I'll be down. The dates are important. The dates are important. I just need to figure out what need to figure out what I need to figure out what 2010 right 2010 was he in service 2010 2006 yeah where was he wounded in combat officially absent from service I can't make that decision right now I can't and I've been turning this in my head for too long so for right now I am going to log out and quit thank you guys for watching it's been a long and exhausting process and I apologize it really wasn't supposed to be this long and obviously constantly being interrupted it is what it is um I'm gonna be thinking about this for a while alright guys I will catch you later I'll see you the next level I'll see you next level later